Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. I don't really have the capacity for more than a quick video this week because, uh, life. Uh, I, uh, want to talk about training for naturals in this installment and really get down to the specifics of something that will produce the best results in both size and strength in experienced lifters not just beginners. And I will be doing so with science, as always, and I will try to make this more detailed than most other videos on the subject. Thanks to mainstream fitness regs and culture, drugged out bodybuilders and fitness models, and a diehard adherence to the bro sciences, the body parts split reign supreme in gyms across the world. Little do these bros consider that champions prior to 1958, the year when the FDA first approved uh, the sale of anabolic steroids in the U.S., relied on high frequency, most often full body routines, to get big and strong. Like John Grimick, who won various titles including two AAU Mr. America titles and one NABBA Mr. Universe title between the years of 1936 and 1948. Thus, Grimeck had retired from competition 10 years before steroids were approved for sale in the U.S. by the FDA and 6 years before the Russians found success at the 1954 World Weightlifting Championships using testosterone, which inspired the so-called God father of steroids, Dr. Uh, John Zeiglar, uh, to begin experimenting with testosterone on U.S. weightlifters. And Grimek's best lifts were 600-pound deadlift, 700-pound squat, a 364-pound overhead press, and a 480-pound bench press. With that perspective in mind, let's now look at the science of why we should adhere to how early greats achieved physique and strength success. In 2015, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld and company studied the effect of training muscle groups using a body part split routine, or every muscle directly once per week, versus a higher frequency three-day total body routine. The study used well-trained men aged 19 to 29 years who had been lifting an average of 4.5 years at a minimum three days per week all of whom were randomly assigned to either a split routine or a full body routine that were volume matched. The subject's dietary intake was also tracked and supplement use was controlled for. After eight weeks, the higher frequency group had gained 3.8% more strength on their bench press one rep max, 0.7% more strength on their back squat one rep max, 2.1% more muscle on their forearm flexors, 3% more muscle on their forearm extensors, and 4.6% more muscle on the vastus lateralis of their quadriceps, all compared to the group following a split routine. Granted, those aren't massive differences, but they're still differences in favor of high training frequency. And if you are going to be putting in the effort, uh, why not shoot for even 1% better gains? And those results were echoed by a 2016 study by Thomas et Alia, also on experienced trainees, which found that higher frequency training produced nearly 12% greater total lean body mass, nearly 11% greater bench press strength, and just over 4% greater hack squat strength all when compared to those using a split routine. That study also had a duration of eight weeks and was also volume matched. Higher frequency is simply demonstrated to be superior. This is precisely why my training and nutrition eBooks, such as Beast Mode by Science and The Upgraded Man, utilize a higher frequency approach among other research proven training methods to achieve maximum possible results in the shortest amount of time possible without requiring drugs. And combine my methodology with my dietary guidelines and supplement recommendations, which are also supported by science. And you see results like this, and this, and this. Coming from those who adhere to what I instruct, whether male or female. And for those who missed my Labor Day sale this past weekend, I'm going to extend the offer of 30% off of my science-based eBooks uh, using the coupon code NOBROSCIENCE at checkout through this coming Sunday, September 9th. So I recommend that you do not hesitate. And I've linked to all of my eBooks down in the description 
for your convenience. And in a coming video, I plan to discuss the benefits that a stronger, well-built physique will have on your life beyond just looking good. Anyway, stir up discussion in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, to press that bell button for notifications, and to check back here weekly, typically by Friday mornings. All three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss new content from me. I want to thank you all for watching, thank you all for your continued support, and I'll see you all in the next video.